Hi class, my name is Mohammed Prince and this is my week four discussion post. So for my overview, I'm gonna go over um, my generation uh, Y and then my dad is in generation X and then I'm gonna go over some theories. I'm gonna answer these questions. So generation Y is um, confident, social, diverse, tenacious. Um, they lack skills for dealing with difficult people. Their attire is whatever feels comfortable, work environment, office, home. They desire flexible schedules. And their motivator is to maintain their personal life. I'm a part of Generation Y, so I do identify with some of the information about my generation. I am confident, you know, um, social, diverse. I do have, however, have pretty good um, skills dealing with difficult people because that comes from my years of experience with large team management. I also like to wear whatever feels comfortable to work. Um, uh, and then um, I desire a flexible work schedule. And uh, my motivation is to also to maintain my personal life, so that's pretty accurate. Um, and my current uh, work schedule helps with that. So I chose my dad. Um, and for Generation X, um, they have a positive attitude. They're impatient. They're goal-oriented. They're, like, uh, they're good at multitasking. Um, they look at their job as just a job, their business casual attire, um, their motivations are job security and salary. So um, my dad has a positive attitude. He tends to be impatient. Um, he is goal oriented and pretty good at multitasking. That's pretty accurate. Um, he did, however, see his job as a career and not just a job. Um, he, he does tend to dress more business casual. That's pretty spot on. Um, and one, one of his main motivators are job security and having a steady income. So security on his, his income and his salary. Um, and then for the theories, um, I'm discussing uh, Gulick's, um, Luther Gulick's um, POS, DCORB. Um, so uh, the first part of that theory is the span of control, which this entails the number of employees a manager actually manages. The greater the scope of control, the more the manager has to supervise his or her employees' work. Um, the next one, uh, the second part of that is unity of command. Um, so um, this touches upon, um, this allows an organization to function smoothly. The concept is simple. Every employee has one manager who gives him or her assignments and um, they supervise, you know, that employee. And then um, it distinguishes the line between staff functions. Um, so uh, the POSD CORB stands for planning, organizing, staffing, directing, coordinating, reporting, and budgeting. And it um, recommends a, a Delineation between the functions, line, and staff. This means that um, managers focus on their um, unity of command, and they're the only ones who gives the orders to the employees. And they focus on their areas, which is you know the planning, organizing, staffing, directing, coordinating, reporting, and budgeting. So, um, also McGregor's theory why X and Y. Um, so essentially theory X assumes that the primary source of employee motivation is monetary with security as a strong second. Um, under theory X, one can take a hard or soft approach to getting results. So, um, and then um, theory X is a higher level needs of esteem and self-actualization. Um, for most people, um, they're never completely satisfied. As such, um, it's higher. Is these higher level needs through which employees can best be motivated? And then um, Mary Parker Follett's organizational theory uh, focuses on individuals and the power of autonomy in encour encouraging employees to work collaboratively um, far earlier than most. Um, Follett um, drew this. Um, more people-oriented method of management. And um, her, one of her uh, quotes is that leadership is not defined by the exercise of power, but by the capacity to increase the sense of power among those led. 
um, she once said that the most essential work of the leader is to create more leaders. So I, I would use this theory to um, to manage multiple generations because I think that's important to make to find um, roles that people can be successful in. A, a leader doesn't just want find success for themselves, they find success for other people. And I think that this is a universal form of management, you know, leading by example and putting everybody in a position to be successful in their roles. So that was my uh, week four um, multimedia discussion post. And I just want to say thanks for watching.